What's good, people? I am Jay Diggs. I'm here with Mixed Wave, and today I'm going to show you how to Frankenstein drum kits in contact. Let's go. All right, guys, we're working in Logic Pro today, and what I want to do first is give you a preview clip of the material that we're working with today. Here we go. Yeah, so that those drum sounds are coming from one kit, but what I'm going to show you how to do is combine multiple kits together using snare from one kit, uh, the kick from another kit, the cymbals from another kit, and even maybe the room from a, a whole other kit. So let's let's get started with that. So here we are in contact, and today we're going to be using all three of our drum kits today. We're going to be using Mixed Wave, Tony Worcester Jr. drums, Luke Holland drums, and Thomas Pridgen drums. Today I'm going to be showing you how to combine all three of these kits to get your own customized sound. So we're going to start with Tony Worcester Jr. I want to go ahead and solo these drums right here, and we're just going to play these for a second. So what I want to start doing is picking out some of my favorite uh, sounds. So uh, for this kit, I really like the toms in this kit. So I, I definitely want to keep the toms from this kit. And I like the snare. I have a particular snare that I like. What I'm going to do with the snare, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna use multiple snares. So I'm going to layer a, this snare with a snare from another kit. My favorite snare from this kit is the Galaxy snare. I like this snare because it just has this, this, this thick, this thick sound to it. This really just punchy and thick sound that I really like. So I definitely want that. Now, what I don't want, I don't want the kick from this from this kit. So here's the first tip. So the first tip to doing this is really very simple. Um, the easiest way to do this is to unload the samples. So from a lot of these pieces, you can just go right here on the arrow and hit unload. And as you can see, it turns black and so it's gonna completely turn the kick off. Boom, all right? So what we're gonna do is let's load up our next kit. So I'm gonna go to Thomas Pridgen. All right, so now here we are in Thomas Pridgen drums. Now the first thing you wanna do is when you load up your new instruments within contact, you wanna go up to the routing here. So this little eye here up in the corner, you wanna hit that. And as you can see here, we have our MIDI channels. Now we want the MIDI to play all of these kits at the same time. So we want to change this to one. All right, so as you can see, it was set on two. We want to change that to one. So now it's playing both hits. Boom. Now, remember I said that I like, I like the snare and I like the toms from the Tony Royster kit. And so what I'm going to do with this, with this one, I'm going to go ahead and turn the snare off. We're going to hit unload, just like before, it turns black, and we're going to do the same on all the toms. Let's see how that sounds now. I'm digging that. I like this kick, so we're going to keep that. And now, let's, let's load up Luke Holland. Let's see, what's, let's see what Luke's talking about. So now we're here in Luke's drums, and remember, we have to do the same thing. We have to go up here to the eye, and we have to change the MIDI channel. Change that to one. All right, so let's take a listen to Luke's kit by itself. I'm going to solo this right here. So something I'm noticing with Luke's kit, I like this low tom that he has here, and I feel like I like the, uh, the, the hi-hat as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hi-hat, this low tom, and the snare. So I'm going to layer this snare with the snare from... Uh, Tony's kit. So I like the low end on this one and I like the I like that the pop on this one. Let's unsolo and see what that sounds like. Yeah, I like I like that. So here we go. So we're gonna go back to Tony's kit and turn off this low tom here. So we're gonna unload that one and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the low, the gong time right here, because it's also triggering this. So let's let's see what that sounds like. I like I like the layer of this low tom here. 
So now what I want to do is because I'm layering these snares, I want to turn this one down a little bit for Luke's. I want to give one snare priority basically. So we're going to go ahead and turn this one down just a little bit. All right, so now you have a you have a choice to make because now what I'm noticing is because we have these snares and everything, all of the rooms and the overheads are in there. So what I want to do is we're going to pick and choose. I'm using the symbols from Tony's kit, right? So we're going to keep the overheads there. So since I'm not really using the symbols in Luke's kit, we'll, I'm going to actually mute the overheads. And this is where you can really get creative. You can just really combine all kinds of... Uh, combinations and put you know whatever you want to do together you can use all overheads in all the rooms but for this but for this instance i'm going to go ahead and um, pick and choose so i'm going to mute the overheads in uh i'm getting confused pridgen's kit <laughs> there we go Let's see i'm noticing luke's uh since luke's kit is more more of a rock style kit uh it sounds the room sounds really really live um which is cool but in this in this instance, I want to bring it down just a, just a little bit, a little bit overpowering here. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. That's a little better. Okay. Digging that. All right. So now let's go ahead and turn off the symbols here for Pridgen. I guess Tony's. Yeah, let's just use Tony's symbols for now. We'll turn everything else off here. Let's see. So what I'm noticing is I'm I want I want some more symbols actually. It's sounding a little bit a little bit small to me. So let's go ahead and actually bring Luke's symbols back. So we're gonna go to the arrow and this time we're gonna go ahead and hit load. All right, now we have Luke's symbols turned back on. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the overhead. Yeah. I'm digging that. So like I said, you can really get creative. So let's see what that sounds like with the rest of the track. I'm digging that. And if I want it and if I want it a little bit more open, right? So we can bring up the room. Yeah, so just play with it. Play with it until you get a sound that you like. You can tweak it, mix, mix and match. That's that's the name of the game, man. It's fun. I mean, <laughs> be careful because you can be there all day when you're working on your song. But it's great to know how to do this and to know the flexibility of being able to just make your own kit, make your own sound. And that's how you Frankenstein jump kits in contact. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you so much. If this video helped you, before you go, please leave a thumbs up and type in the comments. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions, go ahead and type those in the comments. We'll be able to help you out as well. And I just want to thank you for hanging out with us today. Go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials like this and for other videos about our plugins. We just want to thank you for all the support. And I want to personally thank you for hanging out with me today. And until next time, I'm Jay. Peace.